Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a Wi-Fi dongle on a Raspberry Pi 2, so let's go. So first off I purchased on eBay one of these Wi-Fi USB dongles. Now you can get them with the antenna extensions and you can actually get these a little bit cheaper. I just purchased one that was already in Australia so I could get it quicker. And this is it here. Now, what we're going to do is plug this into one of the USB ports, and it can be any of the ports. I'm just choosing this one, but you can put it in whatever you want. And then all we have to do is plug the power in, and I'm remote controlling the Raspberry Pi instead of connecting in a keyboard, mouse, and a screen. If you want, check out my other video on how to set up TeamViewer. I can show you how to set that up as well. So inside the Raspberry Pi, we want to open up the terminal, and we're gonna type out the following. So D-M-E-S-G, and then it gives you a bunch of information. Now, if you scroll up, you can find the component that actually says that the Wi-Fi dongle is plugged in. See, I can see it here with USB. So what you're gonna do next is type in the following line, hit enter, and it's going to search for all of the wireless drivers and firmware that's actually installed and this is where you can see if you've actually got that firmware installed for the wireless dongle um, and then you're going to do the sudo app get uh, line that i'm typing here which will install that firmware for the realtek driver and in this case it's already installed for me but otherwise it would install if you don't have it now we're going to do a scan for the wireless networks, but what I do here is I forget to put the sudo line at the start. So it's just a reminder that if you don't, nothing will come up. But if I do the exact same thing again, but put in the sudo line and do the IW list scan, we'll get a list of all the available wireless networks, including the networks I'm going to use and even things like the ESP unit from a previous video. And it's even picking up some of the neighbors' Wi-Fi's around the area. So now that we can see the networks, we're going to set it up to connect to them. So how we're going to do that is by typing in the following. So first off, we're going into the directory etc network as I've typed it in there. So in here, we're going to edit an existing file. So we're going to type in the sudo nano interfaces. Now when it opens that file, what we're going to do is add a few components to this existing file. So if we scroll down to the bottom and fill out the file as I've typed in here, once you've finished all that, you're going to do an exit and make sure that you save it, but just make sure that you copy exactly how I've got it. Now I'm just navigating to that same file in the folder explorer and as you can see there it's actually updated as well so that's good now we want to go back to the terminal and in here we want to do the next part of the file which is going back to that etc folder and then we're going to create a file sudo nano and we're going to call this one wpa.conf hit enter and what we'll have is an empty file and we're going to type in here uh, details that we need to. I'm not gonna read it out, I'm just gonna let you copy, but basically what this is going to have is the SSID, which is your network that you're connecting to. So just type in what your network's called, then the management key, which you just type in this exact sentence, don't change it. And lastly, your password for your wireless network. So once you've done that, you just wanna do an exit and save, and it'll save this file as a new file. Now, if you type in the iwconfig and hit enter, it'll tell you that there's no wireless LAN connected because you haven't done a reset. So all you need to do now is a reset of the Raspberry Pi. So you can do that by sudo reboot. It'll reboot the system and it'll install and set up the way that you want it. Then all you have to do is pull out your network cable that you've got connected. And once it's reset, back to the terminal, 
type the IW config, hit enter, and as you can see there, I'm now connected to my wireless network. And it's obviously working because I'm team viewing connected into this Raspberry Pi. And if we go to the web browser, I can connect to YouTube or whatever website I want to. So, so that's how you set up the USB Wi-Fi dongle. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.